Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College at the Zoe Chapel of Life Cathedral. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts in no deal at this table. Now, you remember in 1 Samuel chapter 1, back again, if you remember, from verse 14 to 17, it talks about the story of Anna, and Anna had gone into the temple to pray. And, you know, she was in anguish of spirit, like we learned the other time. She was in pain. Things were going on in her life that she didn't have any other solution except to go to God and cry out to God. So what did Anna do? Anna walks into the temple. But when she was going, the Bible says, Eli the priest, whose eyes were dim, his eyes were dim. Eli was sitting at the, at the door. And then she bypassed him. And then she went to pray. And the Bible said the way she was praying, Eli stood there and then just looked at her and just passed a statement of prejudice and said, how long will you put away one, put away one from you? you? You come into the temple to come and pray and, and you, are, you are praying, I mean, you are drunk. I mean, don't you fear God? And all of those other things. I mean, I mean the, the, the kind of uh, verbal lashing uh, Eli gave Anna. Already remember that she was already bleeding emotionally. She was already traumatized by the, the scorn and, 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 the, and the mockery of her rival, Penina, who had children but Anna didn't have. The way Eli spoke, Anna could have, I mean, mind you, she was in bitterness of soul. That's what she said. I'm pouring out the bitterness of my soul. Then you would also come and come and add to, to my problems. And come and traumatize me the more with a false accusation. Come from your, 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 your lofty purchase of prejudice and then come and worsen my problems with your, with your accusations. But you know one of the things that I well, very remarkable about Anna? If you watch what Anna said, Anna said, please, I've drunk no wine. If you see me the way I'm praying, I'm just pouring out the bitterness of my soul. I'm in trouble. Please. And the way she spoke, you know, I can just imagine her saying, please, even the tears in her eyes. And she said, please, don't consider me like those people. I've drunk no wine. All I'm doing is I'm pouring out the bitterness of my soul to him. I'm talking to him. There are things going on in my life I don't have a handle of, I don't have a grip of. So I'm talking to the one who has the grip, who can do something about it. And the way she spoke was in a very plaintive voice. And she was saying, please, do not judge me harshly. You know, that answer of Anna made Eli pause. And Eli moved from his position of prejudice and he moved to a position of blessing. He moved from that place where he was accusing her and then after she had answered, Eli said, you know what? Go and God grant you peace. And may the peace of God go and everything that you've asked of God may be fulfilled. You know one of the things that I realized? Eli had the key and the key Eli had was a blessing to speak over Anna's life with this thing. If you remember very well, when they asked Anna, what are you doing? Anna said, I'm pouring out the bitterness of my soul. No woman gets pregnant pouring out. Every woman gets pregnant taking in. So the seed of faith, the seed of blessing that was going to speak into Anna's womb to make Anna pregnant was carried by that offensive priest, was being carried by that man of God who is coming from a position of, post, uh, uh, position of prejudice. 
He doesn't even know the full facts. But he had something in his hand. He had a seed to give to Anna. He had a seed to sow into the, the spiritual womb of Anna. And if Anna had been careless, and if Anna had been aggressive, or if Anna had retaliated, or if Anna had spoken back, you get it in, in, that, in that bitterness and all those things, I'm very sure Eli will be offended and then he'll say, oh, it's okay, oh, it's okay, oh, please, I beg you, I beg you, I'm sorry, and then walk away. But the way Anna spoke, Anna said, man of God, I'm not going to deal on this, your table of accusation. I'm not going to walk in the valley of offense with the things that you are saying. I refuse to be offended. I have a problem, and my problem is with God. And the way she spoke, it made Eli get off his uh, uh, perch or lofty positions of prejudice. Just he, he had to come down from that high horse and speak into her life. Sometimes, somebody may carry something for you. But if you are not very careful, that person's uh, initial distance would annoy you and you would say something and that door would close. There is a, there is a, there is a seed of blessing somebody carries for you. But maybe your first encounter with that person may not be a very palatable one. You know, sometimes do not react when people throw rocks of prejudice against you. Don't react. For you never know, they carry stones of blessing. And all it takes is for you to answer them softly. It's for you to answer them in peace. Don't sing their war song. Don't bow to their dinner of offense. Don't deal at their table of offense. Rise above their offense because something good is about to happen to you. You know, so no deal at this table. See you later.